One of the most persistent rumours of recent times has been that current Ferrari driver Sebastian Vettel will be signed by Racing Point next year, and that he will take current driver Sergio Perez's place. Nothing has been confirmed or denied by the team yet, but Sergio Perez has now opened up about it all. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, Perez won't make way for Vettel. The rumours gained traction after media reports suggested that Vettel would be a catch for the team that is soon going to be rebranded as Aston Martin. However, Racing Point already has contracts with their current drivers Lance Stroll and Sergio Perez. Perez has been touted as the likelier of the two who would have to give up his seat as Lance is the son of Lawrence Stroll who happens to own a majority stake in the team. Perez, however, does not see it that way. I'm not making way either. I hope not. At the moment, everything is looking as if we're going to carry on with the team, so we'll see. He further reaffirmed the team's faith in him. The feedback I've got from the team is that we are going to carry on. He signed off by giving his thoughts on the rumours circulating regarding the situation. I believe it's just a matter of time before those rumours can go away. Fettel, meanwhile, is keeping things closer to his chest. I think that at least when you dedicate yourself to a new task, you should have the impression that it is something decent. At the moment, there is nothing new. It could still take a while. Fast feed. Paolo Pinheiro, circuit manager of Portimao, pointed out that until the end of September, no fans are welcome at sports events in Portugal, but after that, they will be. He also revealed that they have already done a simulation with 250 people to see how this works in a grandstand, and they know how people have to go to their seats, to the toilet, and stuff like that. He further added that they are targeting 50,000 people, and feels then that pressure's a lot lower, as they don't want to fill more than two-thirds of their seats. Former F1 world champion Mika Hakkinen feels that the team that becomes Aston Martin next year clearly has a fast car. He also looked at how Hülkenberg already showed that with his third place in qualifying for the second Grand Prix at Silverstone. He further feels that the problems at Ferrari are clear, because they shouldn't fight for points in the midfield, and thinks that they will hope to find some speed soon for their home races at Monza, Mugello and Imola. Renault's Esteban Ocon revealed that he'll get a new gearbox and engine as they were not satisfied with the difference with Daniel Ricciardo. He also thinks the upcoming changes for everyone are the same, but hopes that it brings the field a little closer together. Ferrari's team principal Mattia Bonotto pointed out that Mick Schumacher is doing very well in Formula 2 this season, and that they will soon discuss with him what they are going to do with him next year. He also feels that the next logical step would be to start with a smaller Formula 1 team where he can get to know everything. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko agrees that yes, Daniel Kvyat doesn't perform as they expect, but they are still only halfway through. He also pointed out that Sonoda in Formula 2 and Lawson in Formula 3 would currently be in positions that would entitle them to a super license, however they are not thinking of replacing Kvyat. He also thinks the ban on engine modes is also going to affect the in and out laps and overtaking. Haas team principal Gunther Steiner added to that by saying that the ban on engine modes will certainly create differences, or at least make things a little bit more even between the teams. And reigning world champion Lewis Hamilton thinks that it will actually help them in the race, as 5 laps of quality mode not being done gives them 25 laps of more performance in the race. If Mick Schumacher does get called up to F1 next season, which team should he drive for? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.